We are back there, and my goodness, don't they deserve it. My name is Cole. I'm here with the future pie boy of San Diego. No! Goblin, no! And this is going to be a good event. What? You're the one who went against the grain for our European predictions, and you went vitality here. Okay, going against myself, Johnny and Shogun, who all went oxygen, as did the entire desk. So you, future pie boy, I put it to you. Do you still feel confident in that pit, considering the form that oxygen found themselves on? Yes. Do I need an answer? Alpha, come on, man. We're six seconds in. That is absolutely disgusting from Alpha. The players, their rubbers are barely warmed up on their cars. And yet already, Alpha is showing why Vitality are so much more than just the meanest defense so far in this event. They're up against Oxygen, some of the best attackers statistically. But when you can score solo goals like that, Stumpy, you always stand a chance. I feel like that's a pretty good start as well in this series because what we're going to want from Oxygen is, if you're a Vitality fan, you want them to remember how much they got smacked around by Sonic. So the start of that series yesterday, sure, Oxygen ended up winning, but try and just feed into their, 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 their complex that they might have about starting off that series slow. They ended brilliantly and rise to that top corner, the newest man on the Oxygen roster. And has he not just fit in like a key in a lock? He's perfect, Rise. Whichever team he joins, he is able to elevate them in ways they've never seen before. I love the way he plays Rocket League ever since bursting onto the scene way back when an RLCS X with Barrage. He's always seemed a little bit special, a player who's able to turn a series on its head and alter the speed that a series has played. They needed that yesterday against the Sonics. Six seconds in, they could have needed it here, and he's already got the ball again. Redostin's flying in. Alpha's able to take it away. A rip-roaring start to this one. We're only in game one of the best of seven. It could be two <laughs> already. Alpha, this time it's easy for him. It was Sizem that did most of the work. I love the movement from Sizem here. He jumps up, tries to force the player at the back in the air. Sees he's still grounded. Jorizen has to wait to then jump. Meanwhile, Alpha's moving in on the net with the ball. It's a straight line for him. And Sizem, as Jorizen decides to, is able to aerial. Get rid of him from the pitch. Just really nice mind games there from Sizem. Able to suss out where Jorizen wanted to go and shut down the angle. It's almost like Vitality are uh, getting rid of all this frustration they've had for such a long time. They're such a fabled org in the Rocket League world who've won world championships, it's won nice events. to be here. It I is. Like Alpha it. as well, especially. Seeing him pop is great mm -hmm. for us as viewers of the eSport. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's taken a while, I think, for Alpha to have a, some teammates that are going to make sure that he is able to be the player, you know, be the guy. Like Johnny used that term a little while ago, but I love it. It's just being the guy, being the horrible oh. one to play against. Archie there had a great chance to score. We're shooting just wide, keeps vitality with that 2-1 lead. And Alpha, you know, uh, being the scorer of one of those goals, he he's able to perform at the level where he doesn't need to think about what his teammates are doing. He doesn't need to fill in patches in the ship. He's able to just run riot and be an absolute menace. So uh, I'm extremely happy to see Vitality on the form that they legendarily should be. A couple of uncharacteristic misses so far from Oxygen. First, Archie's open goal, which he absolutely should have been scoring. Mm -hmm. but then after that, Jory is going on the backboard. You'd expect him to finish it. Ryze can put this one away, but again, this time it's saved by Vitality. Shinar coming forwards, though. Looking a little bit better. We know recently this is a team that are able to switch it up even if they're struggling. And even in the microcosm of this game, they've changed. They've upped the pace. Vitality struggling to deal with it, but have managed to do so for the last minute or so now. We've also seen how both these teams are going to want to play the series. If we look and if we if we zoom out and see what the stats are saying about these two, you go Oxygen, they are attacking. They are the most offensive team in the event with the highest goals, highest shots, and second in their successful shot percentage. Meanwhile, Vitality, they want to be on that defensive side, but that will let them down on this time. They held out for a while till Jorius was able to poach on the goal line. This is good play from Archie there in the corner, managed to get the ball over the goal. And once you do that, you make it so difficult for your opponents to defend against it. And it was a horrible situation the Vitality defender found himself in. Do you touch the ball, maybe get an own goal? Do you just let it go? In the end, he chose to let it go. And that's exactly what Jory has wanted. Another equalizer for Oxygen. And they're going to keep on attacking. Oxygen, you can see, Stumpy, why they are the best offense so far in this event. They, they link up so fantastically well. I'm, in, I'm enjoying as well seeing this this era of Archie being much more assisting. He knows that he's able to feed Jorius and Rise any any shape of ball, any direction, trajectory, speed, and they will do something positive with it. He knows that is the position that he is going to be filling in on this team at large. Of course, he's got his own shooting ability of his own, but when you've got Rise and Jorius, a lot of the time it's going to be feed them, send them down the channels. Don't make them have to work for their goals. Give it to them as much of a silver platter as you can. 
Rice is going to send that one into the corner where Alpha wants to get it past Rice. Can't do so. It's more good play for him. Let's in, Archie. Brilliant. He missed an open goal earlier. Not going to miss that one. Rise on the backboard here again, going for that off-ball play. Knows it's already in the position, and so then forces Sizen to fly up awkwardly. Knows Sizen is thinking, Rise is behind me, I need to get out of his way. And so Archie capitalizes on that movement from that back line, can just shoot it strong at the net, and their defense is scrambled. The lead, the swing, going in favor of Oxygen. The first time so far in this game, and indeed this series, that Oxygen have had the lead, and they are vying for a rematch of the first regional of last split as well in full where they managed to topple Carmine Corp. Uh, four games to two. Both teams, of course, ended up making it to the Major. So they'd love to repeat that process with Rise instead of Oli, who was dropped after the Major. Vitality are trying to make it difficult for them. Alpha's coming in. That one's going to go a little Ooh. bit over the top. That's open. And this could be the counter. Rise puts that one a little bit wide, I think. Lois rolling straight in. 4-2 to Oxygen. I think that's where Vitality are thinking we need to now go against our typical grain, try and go somewhere different. We need to get a couple of goals. And as Shogun very intelligently pointed out earlier, you don't win championships by being defensive. Who would have known? So I feel like with Vitality throwing everything there, yeah, a minute left, maybe a little bit too soon that they threw everything because yeah. now they need to try and claw back two goals. He said it was just one a minute ago. So oh, I don't I don't hate the idea from Vitality. I just don't like the timing. I'm sure that Farrah will be having a, a word with them, saying that what in future, mind, if though. you are one goal behind with a minute and a half left, that's not the time to throw the bus at them. You know, keep it part just that little while longer, because now suddenly two goals needed is looking a long, long way away, especially with Rice oh. to make these mechanical touches. Now, this is waiting for Sizen's touch. Jory is steaming in, and now Vitality struggling to clear their lines. Oxygen squeezing the life out of them. She's been doing that to teams since his top bloke's days. See him still playing that same play style. It's rise on the backboard, sends it out wide. It's looking like we're going to be creeping towards a 1-0 lead in the series to Oxygen, unless Radostin's touch into the center works out perfectly. And it's not really happening, Stumpy. And we are seeing again why Oxygen is so dangerous, especially if they clear this one. Yeah, I mean, with, with Oxygen, they are quite happy to absorb just a bit of defense. Sure, they're going to want to take some shots on, give them a couple of stats uh, for, the, for that leaderboard. But ultimately, their main aim is push them. Push them hard, push them fast, make them just so awkward and horrible to try and work around. But then when you're trying to push Vitality's defense to that stretch, they can work out of a pocket. And I, I, I feel Vitality have got more that they can give in this next game because Oxygen, yeah, their, their offense is stronger. But then we saw Magic at the start of that one. Alpha, he kicked it off with a ceiling shot that took my breath away. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. This series is going to be a, a huge semi-final and it will not be a 4-0, all right? Any Carmine Corp fans, you're going to get a good grand finals for whoever comes through to face you. Yeah, it's bubbling and building up well so far, this one. I think Alpha starting off the game like that is good for the series. You know, get himself warm. We want to see him making these mechanical plays. But Oxygen showed, even in the context of that game, that the reminder that they are able to adapt, as we saw in the entire series yesterday. So this is really good signs for Oxygen's mental, which maybe was called into question once or twice in the last split. I mean, also, you have, again, maybe we're just blowing up something too bigger than it is, but just conceding that early. You see Alpha going yeah. for a shot like that, and you're thinking, right, ideally they're not even thinking about Sonic. So, like, well, we beat them, why do we care about them anymore? But you have to, I, I, I think, talk about the fact that those kind of situations, <laughs> they can weigh heavily on one's mind. And the fact that Oxygen just aren't phased and they just did not care is brilliant. It's something that they don't need to worry about. And something that I am very, very respectful towards is Radosin's um, decal right now. He's gone for it. Is it a hit? Is it a miss? <laughs> Let us know, Twitch chat. Wow, okay, yeah, you're, you're inviting Vitality's designers there. Mm -hmm. You're judged by Twitch. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's just move on, see what chat thinks. Okay, well, I mean, it was already another good start for Vitality there. It was uh, surprising, I think, this time. He got himself a flip reset in the first 15 seconds or so. Almost as early as Alpha's in game number one, but this time Archie managed to pop up and just get the save, and now he's getting some bumps and demos as well. Rise was coming in, couldn't quite get it on target. But Oxygen, after surviving the early Vitality mechanical play, being a little bit better as a team, I would say. It's mechanical plays for Vitality and better team plays for Oxygen. Good offense here, though, for Vitality. It starts to form. Sizen just following up from behind Alpha, reducing, clearing onto the right wall. No touch for him as Jorius is up there solo. Alpha again from the back board. He's playing from there very frequently recently. And reducing going immediately, not for the ball, but instead for the man. But the two man defense at the back is going to hold firm for Oxygen. Sent towards Sizen again. A catch. Jorius giving away that possession. A smidge too early, I would say. 
maybe not quite enough um, uh, idea for him, but that man is incredibly inventive and he's going to want to try and prove himself through this game yet again. Size and able to take a shot, but again, the two-man defense, Rise staying strong in front of the net. What we've realized as well is, despite what we were saying at the start of this about Vitality being one of the best defenses, they are not playing defensively. By no like means this, yeah. are they trying to squeeze Oxygen out of this and force the 1-0. So I think that says how good their attack has been, that they've had so much pressure, so much ball control, and scored so many goals that they're just not conceding many down the other end. It's, it's really one of those fight. things where, where you look at the statistics and you think, okay, that's what they trend to do. They aren't only doing that. It, it's what they it's what they tend to lean towards. Okay, Vitality lean towards going more defensive. Oxygen lean towards going more offensive. But you can split these teams with a hair in terms of their ability, realistically. Oh. And Sizen proving that offense for Vitality is electric. Just slows the ball down, gets control of it via the 100 boost. A little flick to the side allowed him to prod it over the top of Archie and Vitality for the second game in a row take their lead. And it's a different sort of lead because this game has very much sort of found its level. It's not like game number one that hadn't settled just yet. This one had settled and Vitality have, you know, hit first in it and that can be big for them. The offense again continuing for Vitality is seeing Oxygen in this new phase of play where they're in their back third. Not necessarily looking as comfortable as we've seen them when they're on the offense, but Archie, he wants to start that off this time. with six boost, ties up from the backboard, tries to work it around Archie. Ooh. Instead, he gets it around Rise and nearly Jory gets a nose to it. Redosin shooting straight on target. Oh. Archie is not back in time. Bottom right found. Oxygen's aggression is the undoing of them. Jory is way too far forward there, so he can only get the ball to the side. And Radosin, I didn't think that was going in. It's great placement. I don't think he was expecting it to be a goal, but you take those. What, Radosin? I think he was trying to force an awkward save from Archie. I don't think he necessarily thought it would find its way in. Obviously, you know. 100%. 100%. Fair enough. Then I am 100% wrong. He's, he's gone for that. Yeah, he, he's trying to stretch him. He's trying to make him awkward, but I think he's thinking he's too far out. Rise is going forward, but he's doing nothing to block it away. <laughs> the vision from that mobile that we're seeing is second to none. He's clearly got a bigger brain. He does. Archie's out wide. Radosin's already there. Can get a clean hit on this one too. Jorius saw it coming this time. Sizing up against Jorius. Jorius who's barely been involved in this series, despite the goal he got in the first game. It was a tap-in, and that's too easy again on the goal yeah, line. too easy shot. Vitality's trying to force shot. Oxygen to make some simple taps towards their goal. Can swallow those up all day, and they can keep on going. Vitality definitely on top, even taking the scoreline out of account over here on Forbidden Temple. This is what Oxygen need. Archie in control of the ball. Rise following up. Jory is just again slightly in the wrong place. It goes into the center where Archie is there, but the shot again was overly safe. And now Alpha can dribble it away. But Jory is, is in the perfect position on this occasion and almost gets and the pass miss. as well. Okay, Oxygen not looking on that form we saw from game one. Some incredibly safe, disappointing shots. Going for, you know, those low boost, low risk plays. Hit it towards the net, make them awkward. But they're not powerful enough to make Vitality awkward. Vitality are too good for those shots. They can just bat them to the side and then continue a counter of their own. The final minute approaches as Jorius can slang it towards that back wall. Size and though jumps off with low boost. He can't push on it before Archie is able to take that possession. Chips round one onto the bat board. Rodosa wants something special here. Alpha's going to keep it safe. They've had shots, Oxygen. They've had seven of them, but yet to break the deadlock over here on game two. Radosin wants to get it over the top of Archie. Oxygen are doing some decent defending now, but they have to do so much more. Do they have the boost to launch an attack? They've barely got the players to launch an attack because Arthur's taken out Archie. How's his spawn? It's on the better side for them. I was coming into the center. This could kill it if Vitality get a goal here. They're looking the more likely team to score next as well. Oxygen have to get something going, but first they have to break through from the blue half. Really nicely controlled from Vitality here. They've done a fantastic job. They've, they've managed to secure all of these, the, the small little plays, going for those little bits of boost to keep Oxygen spread a little bit further along. There's not the big boost available for them to grab in defense, so they're having to rush out a little bit further, go towards those mid boosts instead of their nice safe fat boost. Very, very controlled, dominant play from Vitality in game number two. Archie's going to be getting a goal in garbage time. Won't mean much. We go to one all into the city. Yeah, the only thing that can maybe do is take away a little bit of the frustration of not managing to score when you've taken eight shots in a game and eight good shots as well, which is what Oxygen are on. I think the Vitality are going to be very happy after that second mm -hmm. game, Stumpy. I mean, looking at the first one, it was extremely close. So to get one that was more spread out, short sure, scoreboard says 2-1, but realistically a 2-0, mm -hmm. um, being able to just keep Oxygen back. They held them realistically 
they held them to eight shots and one goal. Like that, that, that that's a few shots, but not really for oxygen. It, it, it's less than they typically have in your average game. They normally get 9.6 or so. So keeping them to eight and only one goal, that's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. I'm loving as well how expressive the Vitality players are when they score these lovely goals. You know, they're really supportive of each other. Sides and it was who got yeah. the mechanical goal in that game and the fist bumps were already there. They're jumping in their chairs. They're going, yeah, Ferris behind them. He's Gene them up as well. The vibes seem great with New Vitality. Yeah, and I think it's that comes with winning. That comes with doing well. Because, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like, ah, when are the vibes going to be better than when you're thinking, right, lads, we got a game. We can, we can do this. We can work through a team that has that better offense. So... And for Vitality as an org, the support they give to their teams, the the, the, the brain they've got in Ferrer behind them, he is mm -hmm. one of, and has been for years, the cleverest players turned coaches we have ever seen in this eSport. And again, it's an early lead for Vitality. Size then around the back, and Alpha up so fast up against Rise. Speedy boy is Alpha. You have to be a little bit quicker if you're going to beat him for pace. And these early goals for Vitality are going to start making it tough for Oxygen in these games. Auction on this kickoff, trying to go for something early as they can. Remove from the pitch, Alpha, a potentially a hint towards being more aggressive as we go into this third game on DFH. Jory is clearing away, but also clears his teammate as well, which is less than ideal. That is completely oh. open, but the pass does not come off, unfortunately. It was one touch too many for Alpha. He had his teammate in the center. I think it was Radosin who wants to get there, but the attack continues. That oh. one's off the bar. Rise just wants to send this one away. He is the player who was pivotal yesterday. Up against Sonics, he completely changed the way that Oxygen were playing. It's starting to look like he's going to have to do so again because Vitality are more than on top of this one. They're dominating. I feel like the vibe has certainly switched to Vitality, but I feel like Oxygen are so excited to prove themselves. They're wanting to be like, well, look, yeah, they got one game, and yeah, they're, they're controlling the, the flow of the next two, but we can do this. We can absolutely smash through. They just need to use that full force take a sledgehammer to the porcelain vase and they can maybe, maybe work into the series and just become as dominant as Vitality have started to hint towards. Maybe it's a big solo play that will wake Oxygen up and Rise is more than capable of achieving those. That's the bump on the ghost that tees up Archie. Joris is coming in, he gets the shot away. Oh. Somehow it's wiggled its way out by the post. <laughs> Sizen, how have you kept that one out, mate? <laughs> that looks so lovely. And it ends up leading to a goal. Very thankful we won't see it. It was a little while ago now. But just being able to hold it on the post, clear it away. He said Rise lurking on that side while Radosin flipping awkwardly. Wasn't able to get a touch himself. And so Archie can tap it in past that final defender. One all Oxygen. No longer with these safe shots. Instead, actually finally asking proper questions of Vitality's defense. I think that was a very important goal for Oxygen right there because you know, the way that ball stayed out from size and save, you start to wonder if this isn't going to be your day. Suddenly it goes in and you feel... It was very relaxed. good timing for it, for sure. Like. Proceedings, especially if you can get another one. That one's so close from Archie. They keep the attack going with Rise. Alpha booms it as far as he can. Suddenly it's panic stations for Vitality. I'm not sure they've got the bit between their Aye. own teeth. There's someone above Jory, it's not this time. Let's get the bump on Radosin from his own backboard. Big demo there from size and on Archie. Should allow a little bit of space to come in right now for Vitality. But Joris is getting way too much of the ball. He's the one who seems to be a bit quiet for Oxygen. And yet he has, I would say, the highest mechanical ceiling. That chance there for Oxygen, though. They, he, the, I think Archie hit it towards that backboard. Sees no one's there, but then no follow-up. Didn't go for it himself, didn't have the boost to do it. And there also wasn't well. anybody in position. So, oh, I, I don't hate the idea, but why do it there? Why not just go for the shot, get the awkward save, and then follow up on something? Because that right, backboard, well, by the way, has been covered for the rest of the game. So uh, going there that time, it didn't necessarily feel like the play. Our backboard is looking a little bit more bare now that Vitality seem more stretched. And the boost isn't quite as uh, as readily available as it was before. Radosin's just missed that one. That won't help, but it does tee up a race between three players. Turn low. That race is won by Alpha, who gets the dunk on them all. And Oxygen's boost is low as well, as you mentioned. This could be a chance for Sizen. Good again. first touch, Jorius clears. Alpha wants to keep it alive. Can he get the second? Not quite, but it's going to fall into the center. Once again, it's a mistake that's almost led to a dangerous moment against Oxygen. There's a lot of boost control there for Vitality, but no real capitalization. Um, I think Oxygen is keeping that ball close, knowing that all of them are low. And Vitality, they had like near 300 each. Alpha trying oh, to dribble it in low. Didn't able to rise, clears it away instead. No, Archie's ceiling pinching. Jory is there, tries to go for not quite a doink, and uh, flipping instead. Coward's behavior, but it's okay. We'll get a doink eventually. 
Final 90 seconds begins to tick down. And we are again even in the game. Looking a lot like we saw in that first one. Well, he's waiting, testing Sizen's clearance. Sizen does really well there because you have to hold your nerve and put the ball to safety rather than booming it as your instincts would tell you to do. It's worked for now. Alpha has a couple of touches and flicks it over the top oh. and it's gone all the way in. Alpha is the difference. Alpha there had a couple of options. He can go for the catch and then flick it as he ended up doing because he knows that Arch is in awkward position. Jorius is so close that he can't defend the pass if that's to come in. So he also has to challenge on that flick attempt. But it was just so wonderfully between the tip of the car and the crossbar. It's able to sneak its way in. And Alpha, as you said, he is the difference maker. And he has been for years for Vitality. Vitality who haven't made a grand finals for almost an entire year. It was the full regional two of the RLCS 21-22 season, last season. Now they're knocking on the door, a brand new team around Alpha. Sizen and Redosin, how well they're doing. But they have to hold out for 44 more seconds. Oxygen are going to put a barrage against them. The clear's long. Every touch Vitality are getting is massive. You can see the boost starvation. Oxygen all out attack right now. Vitality trying to hold. Jorius is beaten to the ball again by Redosin. And Archie's left stranded in the center. Redosin can almost go over the top of him. Won't score from it, it will take more time off the off the timer. There's a pass in the middle. Jorius takes it, it's wide, and Archie's too far forward. He can't take the shot. And that's finally for Vitality. They've had a lot of defense. Is this their chance just to get another goal as Oxygen scrambled? Oxygen know what they want. Vitality know that just as well, too. Archie, an awkward touch, but a brilliant one. Into that back left corner. He is 50 boost. With a man in the midfield, he shoots oh. here, gets saved away. Oh. By yet again, that difference maker, Rise with 50, gets caught out in the corner oh. by Rodosi and keeps it high, however. The right wall doing favours for Oxygen. Again, off the ground as Rise catches from Jorias. He's oh able my. to dribble around one, no takes it up, Archie's under the sky. The bad board is available, but Alpha is there to shut it down. The dream continues for Oxygen until Alpha. A third and final time of asking ends the third game. Wow, well, that was utterly terrifying at the end there for Team Vitality. My goodness, did they hold their nerve, though. Oxygen had that glorious chance at the end, but they couldn't quite take it. Alpha's second goal, though, Stumpy. Vitality have scored, I think, two really clean dribbling goals. And at this level in 3v3, those are pretty rare. I mean, I, I love that Alpha drew just loads of defenders in because they don't know what he is going to go for there. Like, he realistically could have flicked it off the side wall and then Archie challenged incorrectly, you know, for that play. Then Jorius should be following up. But instead, he just goes for the net with that backflip to recenter himself if they need to go for another 50. It was so well played from Alpha, the vision to go for it. And then the attempt for Oxygen at the end, devastatingly close. Great composure from everybody on the pitch to do their respective jobs. But Alpha was there one, two, three times. Third time of asking, he gets it to the floor. As now we go on to Utopia and Vitality holding that all-important lead. We know that Oxygen, who, as a reminder, made the Grand Finals and actually won the event in the opening regional of the full split, we know that they can mix up their playstyle when it's needed. We've learned that in recent days. To me, this is the time to do so. I know you hate when I say this, Stumpy. I do want to see them just hit the brakes a little bit at the start of this game, because Vitality, Vitality are using their pace against them right now. No, full send. Just be better at the full send. <laughs> like, uh, I think that's, that's the thing. Like, you, want, you I'd want the players just to continue with our full aggression. Be that first shooting team, the first, the most offensive team that they can in Europe that they've proven throughout the split so far. Push that vitality defense because they were doing that in game number one by getting four goals in the end against them. I do think definitely the third man needs a little bit more discipline. For oxygen the ball just always tends to be just about jumping over their head or too far behind them to nail that clean shot will they listen to me or will they keep on doing what they do probably the latter that's normally the way you can't blame them they've done well from it so far one of the favorites of the whole event coming into it vitality are doing excellently alpha from the ceiling he's already scored goals like this this tournament and he's got another one you just know at the moment when alpha goes up he's gonna cause some magic He's a magician in the sky, continues with that reset. And Archie has to wait, has to bide his time, yet Alpha slams it above his head. Alpha is magnificent incarnate. He's got the ball again here, tries to go for the snapshot. Quite connected with that one. He can only score when he's on the ceiling and backwards and having to flip reset. None of these easy goals for Alpha. Redosin, this time, his, this time it's his turn from the ceiling. 
And Oxygen struggling to deal with Vitality yet again. The mechanics are beautiful today. Rise on that right wall just gets caught out by size and the boost in favor of Vitality right now. Only about 50 or so till Jory has picked up that 100 for Oxygen. In the sky, he passed it over. Rise a bit too far towards that right. And now, Sizen catching on that ball, pinching towards the center. Held on his flip, learning from Alpha. I love to see it. Hmm. So it's in with that leopard print monstrosity <laughs> towards the center of the blue heart. I feel Archie like you've given your opinion there, mate. Well, on the news, they don't not give their opinion. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, here is Radostin, the leopard print monster. He takes it above the goal. Eisen wisely lets it go. But once again, it's Vitality putting all the pressure on. Oxygen relieved just to see that ball bounce. And all Vitality players in their own half. Rise is coming in, wants to beat his opponent to the race. Been able to do so for now. And look at the pace of Sizen. Vitality, by far and away, the best we've seen them play. And it's happening at the right time. They're peaking when it matters. And maybe it is the Leopard Print Mobile. There's, there's always that chance. Rodosin has been a wonderful force on Vitality today. And it's using the, the new talent to, to its best ability, or the newer talent, you know. Keeping Vitality, that name, as relevant as possible under the new French young guns. Jorius from his own half passes it again towards Rise, but he is double man. Two players wanted to shut him down. And Rise hasn't had many looks on that ball. Oh. And I, I don't think that's because of him. Jorius. <laughs> again, the old stream goal explosion. I love seeing those. The brand new ones in the esports shop. Send onto that ramp and then taps it down oh so gently away from the lurking in and out defender. He's been having a pretty quiet series, Jorius. Sometimes he does, but when the ball is floated up to him and he has boost, you just know he's going to fashion a way to bullet it into the top corner. Suddenly, Oxygen have their equalizer and they have to continue pushing on. Now is the time for full send if you're Oxygen. And I'm sure they're going to, but not if they're removed from the pitch. Slides in a couple of touches over the top of the goal. Vitality is still going for these solo plays. My only question, are they going to start being red? Not if they introduce so passing good. as well. Right, oh. expect it at all. That's why he pre-jumps. Vitality makes up their approach, but Oxygen stand tall enough and get it away. A millimeter keeping Oxygen in this game on Utopia, and they've got themselves a miracle. Sizen on that bad ball. Realize he shouldn't go for it, but maybe he should have done as Archie goes for one shot, saved away, however, into the corner now. Alpha picks it up, flicks round one. But Ryan's still lurking behind him. To get that ball control, he just has to follow it up nicely. Archie with 50 boost in the corner, again challenged by Sizen. There's always two players with never vitality go for any given attack. And that's shutting out oxygen at near enough every chance, whether they are manning an oxygen player, whether they're then going for the ball, their follow-ups, their Here shadowing we go. is near perfect. Alpha wants to go low on that one, tries to tease out the save from Jorius, but instead does so in favor of Oxygen. Radosin, how have you forced that ball to the left? Where's the angle even come from? Don't you dare, Radosin! The leopard printed monster is on the hunt. The reset from the ceiling below the crossbar, every angle, every millimeter was taken to perfection with that play and vitality lead. The hook shot is not easy to do at all in any situation. But when the next goal in this series is paramount the way it was, a two-game lead for Vitality. Massive here if they can see it away again. We're left with Vitality a few oh seconds. My oh, God. Alpha fakes the ball out, sinks it into the corner, and Redosin finishes it. Alpha is just destroying Oxygen time after time after time. You've got to trust it. You have to trust that Alpha has that. And yeah, he doesn't get it on that chance. Give him 10 more times. Yeah, he goes for it 10 out of 10. The follow up from Redosin gets the goal, and Vitality are running riot. We talk about their defense. But their offense is miraculous. They're going to give Kami and Corp a game, assuming they make the grand finals. I'll tell you that much. Vitality <laughs> are just beyond anything we've seen from them so far. But Oxygen's still dangerous. Rise puts it above. Radosin sends it out wide. It's good defending from Vitality as well. It's not just the yeah. solo plays. They're not overcommitting. They're happy to be disciplined when it's necessary. Oxygen. They know you're going to have a serious thought to have after this. They've got the lead. They can take that breath. They can get composed. And then they can do filth like this. Getting that reset and forcing two defenders now to dive at the ball. And if you've got that in your mind as Oxygen, and you're thinking, well, we just need to send two to it, then Vitality will learn. And then they'll go for safer plays, get the good 50s, and then get a goal from it regardless, even if it's not a wonder goal. Flip resetting around that defender. Vitality, game number three, the fourth one completed in the series. And we go to match point. Will Vitality be able to muscle their way through the best offensive team in Europe in Oxygen Esports?
This is where Coach Billy has to earn his paycheck. The mm-hmm. timeout has been taken by Oxygen, and my goodness, is it an important one. I don't know if this is the team that are necessarily going to change how they're playing in general, Oxygen Esports, but the mm-hmm. timeout's so important just to take away the vitality momentum because it's a tidal wave. Yeah, it's time to just tighten up everything, I feel. That was Radosin with seven shots. He got seven shots in that match. Just a ludicrous number on the side of Vitality. And we all, we, we've we been saying the whole series, they're the defensive ones, but look what happens when they go offensive. In that game, Ryze was an underperformer. I feel like in this series, he's been quite quiet. I've not seen a huge amount from him when the cards start to turn. And I, I, I'd like to see that rise. You, you know, when you look at the historical players in the RRCS and you look at particular years and you say, yeah, he was the guy. Or he was he was the target player. Mm-hmm. Rise has been that, and he's not that right now in Oxygen. Can he be? Oh, gold, yeah. Oh, my God, yes. He can be infuriating to play against. Bring that out. Be be awfully hard to play against. I want to see more from Jurys as well. I, I feel like the only real mechanical play we've seen from Jurys was where he had a pass hit straight at him. He's not really forcing the issue. He seems to almost be embedded quite deep in the rotation for Oxygen, and I'm not necessarily sure why. You know, we know he can be defensive when he has to be, but I just want to see him take this by the scruff of the neck a little bit more. But let's talk about the team we see here, Vitality, because they also have 60 extra seconds to talk things through. And mm-hmm. Sizen and Radosin have never been in an RLCS Grand Final. They are on the cusp. How do they break through what you and I lovingly call winner's tilt? Mm-hmm. When you start to believe, oh my goodness, this could be We're doing moment. it. Oh my God, are we doing it, guys? Have you yeah. seen, have you seen that we're doing we should, it? We should be defensive now. I think you keep doing filth like that, to be completely honest. <laughs> I think just the confidence has to remain where you're thinking, this is Oxygen. This is our hardest challenge so far because they've gone through, yeah, moist, a weakened moist. You know, rise isn't there. It's just, it's a worse moist as far as I'm concerned than last season. But they topped their group. They got through to today in a group with Carmine Corp. They know that they have got that style and they, have, they haven't they have lost this entire tournament. It is a chance for them to prove why Vitality are back. Yes, that's pressure, but that's where I think if you're going to be one of the greats, you need to be able to perform under that amount. Are they three of the greats, Sizen, Radosin and Alpha? This is their chance to prove it. Majori is his dangerous. He started this game well. And the hardest game to win is the one that gets you over that finish line. Oxygen will know that. Sizen's up. He sends it out wide. Some good aggression coming in right now from Oxygen. Just to make sure Vitality don't get too used to themselves. Archie is almost overcommitted going for boost and was nearly punished for it. I feel like he he was yeah, he was going for that boost on the right hand side, just thinking, oh this is safe. And then saw Radosin is staring him down. It's like, oh no, it's not. And that back still- line is not safe whatsoever. The high shot thought coming in. Radosin wanted to go for this in the air, but instead the shot oh, low fun. from Archie. Almost like it was it was towards Jorius as a pass, but also threatening on the net. Much lower than anticipated, but a very, very brave pre-jump for Radosin. I must admit, I missed the bump there. I thought that was just a, a missed play or something. So uh, apologies there, but yeah, it's a good play again from Oxygen. Maybe that's what they discussed. They have to go more for these Vitality players. Not them off their stride. We've seen a demo, we've seen a bump, we've seen a goal from a bump from them. And now we're seeing fast shooting, peppering the Vitality goal line. Vitality going to be able to stand up to it. Archie's going to try and make sure that's not the case. He's run out of boost, but he still has control. He waits his moment, almost sneaks in under there. Rise's turn now, and a huge boost deal from Archie too. This is Oxygen's game so he far. Waited. Vitality are losing it. Jory has just did the classic oh, wait there, and it's led to this goal no. from the backboard. Oh. He was... That, look, Joris is late to that, then Alpha can clear it away, then immediately Archie has to go for something, has to get any touch, and Rodos can tap it round. Starting with, and I'm going to keep going on about it, Jorius, he slowed down and then he went. It has to be one smooth movement. He knows this. He's so much better at Rocket League than I am. It's unbelievable. He knows he doesn't, he shouldn't be sh- slowing down there. That's where you see the lack of confidence in that car oh. body language. Oh, Vitality, their team play has been better than Oxygen for the last couple of games, but it's the solo plays that have been the difference. And once again, you know, there was a mistake from Oxygen. That's undeniable, but they still had a lot to do. And they've got a lot of defending to do. That one's over the top. Alpha to the side. He's going to get that boost as well. So good boost management from Vitality. Jory is straight back into the attack and stealing boost as well. That's what Oxygen are trying to do. Diminish their resources. 
Now that's from Archie as well, staying forward. Didn't get the ball, mm -hmm. but look how much Nick can panic and think about yeah. it. Jorius yeah. now has a chance to actually go solo. Doesn't work out, but something has shifted for Oxygen and they have stepped up. I completely agree. Be that nap just buzzing around their head. Be frustrating, you know. They they can't feel safe in their own back third because that's how their defense is so good. Jory shooting wide on that occasion, but there are chances coming. Yes, they're not been on target with Jory just yet, but you know that he is feeling uh, an uh -oh. eruption of talent coming soon. That one's wide. Archie's able to just get it from that side wall clear. Towards the center, Jory's is not up. Archie calls solo, but instead beaten out by Sizem. Good touch from Jorius, but that pinch is going all the way towards the blue goal. Yet again, it's wide. A couple of sighters from afar for Vitality. Should be a warning sign for Oxygen not to get too attached to these plays, even though they're on the up right now. But Osin's coming towards his opponents from their goal. Okay. And Jorius can just clear it long. Rise has a chance to catch the ball. This is what he loves to do. Slow things down and flick it forwards mm -hmm. just to let his teammates get some boost and move forward in the attack. Both teams relatively even on boost throughout majority of this game. There's not been a huge amount of boost steals. So I think they're both thinking oxygen are like, right, we can't lose this, else we're done gone for the competition. And Vitality are thinking, let's not throw this, otherwise we might be gone for the competition. Different sides to the same coin. There's a shot going on target for Jory. It's saved by Alpha and another long clear. None of these being kept particularly close to the uh, Vitality net. Jory is up for that double oh! and wide yet again. His sight just a smidge off. He has to score, but with Dosin, he can score these, Rise. Tease it out wide. The pressure's so high now on these players. Alpha up. He's been scoring these all tournament, but not this time. Archie closes him. A little rule two there in the center, which is left. I don't mind that. Chat's going to hate it. I think play your Rocket League, this as far as I'm concerned. serious business. <laughs> said is that what he said? He did. Silly old turp. But Jorius is amazing, but he can't forget that double tap. Archie with a minute left, wants to go for the bump on the keeper, does get so, but Alpha able to collect the ball as it rolls in front of his orange net. Sizen, left hand side, sees Archie with 100 boosts clear away from that backboard. It's becoming somewhat tight knit ping pong. But onto the backboard again with nobody up. Jorius can shoot, saves away in the sky, rise on target! And the purple splash in favor of the new man. You said you wanted to see more from Rise Stumpy, and there it is. A man who is an expert at waiting his moment and taking his one chance. The ice man cometh as far as vitality are concerned. And now Oxygen, they see themselves being in the lead with 50 odd seconds left. Can they hold? Wasteland beginning to frost over potentially with the icy potential rise brings to this new Oxygen roster. Archie gets cleared away with the ball by Rodosin, who follows up on it with little boost. He can get that 50, stops that push from Jorias. 40 seconds remain and Vitality, this push needs to be theirs. They need a goal to just win it here and now. Oh, if it goes no to way. overtime and the lucky gods are on the side of the French. Well, it's good luck for Vitality, but look at this. Jorius and Archie oh, double committing horrifically. Yeah, there was a oxygen sandwich oh. by the goal there. The last thing they needed, they had panic. to remain composed and they did panic. And now Vitality, they will smell blood in this water. 30 left, but it's option to have the ball. Archie tries to juke it past the two of them. Rise is rotating out, so this one's all on Jorius Open. for now. Wants to get this extra touch, but Alpha, he read it all the way. Archie's turn, 12 boost. Again, we've seen them do this oxygen with low boost. Realizing Vitality won't know how little they are on unless the comms are perfect. Jorius into the center, leaves it to Archie. The pinch is better this time. At least it's towards the best goal, as far as Oxygen are concerned. But that pass for a dose and will open things up for Sizen. Reset. This could be the series. Jorius saves it and keeps control. It looks like we're heading into overtime unless something dramatic happens now. It's not going to, and its next goal wins this game. The ice somewhat melting on the side of Wasteland as Rise got that goal, but just conceding is such a pain for them. Sizen shooting towards the target, forces Rise up into the skies. He goes, leaves it for Alpha as he tries to give that ceiling pass. Not strong enough, although Rodosin's first to it. Archie can clear away pretty convincingly. Sizen on that halfway line, keeping the possession in favor of Vitality. Little boost sees Rodosin in the center. The miss from one sees Jorius have to fill in the gaps. Jorius has a chance to let the ball land. Alpha watched him all the way, held his nerve. There's another quick shot there from Archie. Just peppering it again, the Vitality goal. Keep the shots coming as far as Oxygen are concerned. If the ball's here, it can't be in your Ooh. goal. Size and saves that one. The reflexes are good from Vitality. But look at the rotations from Oxygen. This is more like the dangerous OXG that we mm -hmm. expect coming into this series. Huh? That we've seen so far. Lovely fake from Rise. Oh. Archie can only put it wide. 
I love seeing those fakes too. So you're thinking, oh yeah, this this is the goated player if I get this pass here. But actually just going for that, just going not for that instead and just saying, oh no, it's going off the corner. It's more important sometimes. Jory is getting those bumps with Rise shooting on net size and though bumps gets that save importantly. Jory is now actually both quitting from that ball. Seeing a few confidence issues, I feel honestly, in Jory is. Wanting to see him just know that he's one of the greatest players we've ever seen in this game and to play up to that potential. Pinch oh. central, Archie Vital as Radosin was there to shut them down. Vital against Vitality, that touch right there was. Jory is one of the best we've ever seen. Can't quite get that one oh. on target, but he goes there for it. Instead, there's the confidence, there's the moment, there's the rise from Oxygen. And Jory is the confidence not needed to go for that ball because he just forces the man to jump awkwardly and gets contact. Sizen unable to make contact on that final attempt. He got a couple of he gets bumped and then still saves it. Saves. Just not this time, the most important one. And Oxygen, they begin that journey back. It is now 2-3 in the series. Vitality continue to lead. Shot number 14 of that game. Jesus there were seven Christ. saves from Team Vitality. <laughs> it was just a, a, attack the defense for large parts of that, a complete blowout. It could have been, were it not for Team Vitality's quality defending. But Oxygen in the end, they did what had to be done. They made the right decision in the right moment, and they oh didn't God. overcommit when that they goal. were on top, Stumpy. That's what impressed me the most. Yeah, they didn't. They, they made sure that they held back a little bit, but still, and I, I touched into um, this point um, during that game. Jory is... I don't feel confident in him and he clearly just doesn't look confident in himself, which I hate. I want Joris to have that pure confidence, know that he's incredible. He's alongside Ryze and Archie. He can perform, but he's going for safe shots. He's shooting just wide of the target. The double tap, he's thinking the defender's got that. No, yeah. if you don't think they've got it, you need to continue to follow and go for that shot. Otherwise, what are you doing using 30 boost to go for the shot that you're not even that confident in? Jory is, is in a bit of a rut in this game. I want Ryze to pull him out of that alongside Archie because when that team performs, and like at the end of that, that's the confidence inspirer. Run with that energy. Well, on Neo Tokyo yesterday, Vitality defeated Moist and it ended with a glorious ceiling play from Alpha. <laughs> That almost wasn't glorious defending at the start. We'll ignore right that. We'll ignore that for the for the epicness of this series, all right. <laughs> but it seems to have worked all right oh. as well. Oxygen keep it coming, Rise. Squeezed it to Jory as it's saved. Archie with an attempted double tap. It doesn't happen and a miss can work in your favor if you deal with it faster than your opponent. Radosin onto that backboard, forces Jorius up high and the touch coming over. I feel like he's starting to feel it now. He's, he's getting into those better positions, those more solid mechanics I feel are coming through. Alpha trying to touch down gently, tapped away by Jorius, him and Ryze both wanting that ball, but the result is the same as the defense for Oxygen will be continuing. Towards that left side, Jorius sends it to no one for on Vitality. No one fancied it, so Ryze takes in that place. The flick for Alpha not going as high as he would like, and him and Jorius duking it out until Radosin chucks that leopard mobile back into the fray. Last game was a rare occasion where Vitality weren't able to sink as many of their solo plays as we've been seeing them sink so far. And Oxygen did well to make that the case. They're going to have to keep up that defending here. So desperate to make it for their first event as a team with Rise into the Grand Finals. They're going to have to stand so tall. Jorias sends it high. Rise is up already. He really has grown into the series. Over these last couple of games, Ryze getting so much more involved in the ball. But there's a pass here towards Redosa, and he should put this one on target. It's simple for Vitality once they get that extra inch of space. Just a pass down that wing, and Alpha going to no one first, then to himself, and then Redosa yet again, sitting pretty as the poacher in the center. And again, I keep saying it, those gold explosions are so good to see. Let's go keep repping them. Yeah, I do. Get your own as well from the eSports store. Go, go, go. Get these... Uh, decals as well but not yet wait at least three minutes and 17 more seconds before you do so because this is rocket league you can't take your eyes off especially when rise has the surprise of his life against the against the vitality defense alpha just sends that one high redosin has size into his left it's size that it ends up falling to is it via a jarius touch so size and isn't as perfect as he would have wanted it to be rise again the man always just seems to have so much space even in these trepidation situations 1-0, looking more and more confident for Vitality as they started to, I feel, shut down their back line a little bit quicker as they're thinking one may well just do it, but let's keep that offense up as 
as ever, the best off the best defense in Rocket League is always going to be that offense. Rodosim going for one and the second off the ground, catches along with Jorius and then pinches it towards that back right side with enough boost. Jorius can carry on, but then fails to get that second touch. And so Alpha, he has allowed a window in, and he's got the big red key. All right, he sends that one as far as he can. Rodosim up against Jorius. It's just clean 50-50s from both teams so far. No one really wanting to take any risks. Feel the auction of the team that are going to have to show a bit more expressiveness in attack. They have to get back into this one because Vitality are more than happy to just keep on swallowing these seconds. Archie has the ball now. This is what Oxygen need after a clean clearance, but it's a little bit ceiling y. And Jorius could have done something more with that. Almost returned the favor, the pass to the assist towards Alpha this time. But Jorius is up. Right, he goes to the pass again. So many infield passes. Oh! They keep it simple mechanically, but it's saved by Alpha. Stumpy's frustrated. Could he have done better? No, it was just really good defense. <laughs> it looked like that was going to be the one. That was going to be a goal on Neo Tokyo for Oxygen. And the shot towards the open net for Sizen is going to be shutting down their hopes in the final 90 for Oxygen. A great catch from Rodosin, faking out. Rice thinks that's Rodosin's ball, but Sizen comes in to snipe it goalward. The two new Vitality players combining as well. It's not all about Alpha. Redosan and size and the pass, the assist. They're the two Love scorers that. this game. Sewn in now to the first grand finals of Vitality in oh! almost a year, but Oxygen, they remain alive. It's Archie off the backboard. He's had enough of assisting. That man wants full four action. Send it past two defenders. Thank you very much. On Neo Tokyo, Oxygen have got themselves a goal and they reduced that deficit back down to one. So many storylines emerging and developing over the next minute and 28 seconds. It could be Rise, the rematch against Carmine Corp, his old teammate in Vatira. Should Oxygen make it through, but for Vitality, they have their own history to contend with. And now none of that matters. They're just thinking about defending. Archie pushes the backboard. Rise is there. Oh, oh. Three Vitality players switch that ball to the side. But Archie can come forward again. He's got the reset from the ceiling. And this time it's just Redosin by himself. And he continues. No boost, but so much work done. Rise's turn. Archie's up. Oh. And he does get it in. Archie with the quick fire one, two. Vitality's heart's at risk of being broken. And it's two all in the game. It felt inevitable. The inevitability of that entire play of Vitality's defense being just so perfect, being on point, make sure to clear at corners, doing everything right, and yet the pressure breaks them. Sizen now for the 1v1 versus Archie, delays the <laughs> flick, plays him like an English fiddle, and Sizen going bottom left, the goal that may well send Vitality to that final. Rise of the player who has had so much experience of important kickoff goals. That one was right up there, and unfortunately for them, it went against them. And now, 51 seconds. Vitality can see the finish line. They've already taken the lead in this game. This time, they surely have to keep it. Whilst their heads might drop, it's more good passing from Oxygen. Come back a couple of times. Can they do it a third? Oh, she's just a little bit too far back. Wasn't Take expecting that pinch. Size and the dribbles have been so devastating for Vitality. Oh. There's another one. It's missed by Archie. It's missed by everyone. But that pass wasn't Jorius. He's been quiet. He lets in his teammate, Archie, who completes the hat trick. And this game just refuses to end either way. Archie's assaults continue to batter down that net. The left hand side open as Alpha dives across, isn't able to. And green smoke emerging from the orange net. The final 27 and a kickoff to separate us from overtime. Sizen winning this one, muscling it into the blue half. Jorias with 70 wants to follow, but Radosin just gets it back towards him. Challenge from Alpha and Sizen sees it central. Oh. And Alpha has to dive, gets the save away. The bump was not able to come in. Alpha on the ceiling. He's terrifying up here. He's terrifying wherever you put him on the pitch. Shot again towards the target. Redosin forcing two defenders to go. Rise raises it central in the mid, though. It's long for Archie and Alpha. Once again, the battle of the A-star players on this pitch. A chance for Alpha with the one reset. Goes for the second. Archie down to the corner. Overtime is upon us. What a game we have had so far on Neo Tokyo. Is this series going to continue? Or do Vitality manage to kill it here? I want to start it quickly. Jorius slows things down. That's There's open. a huge demo that's coming in. Jorius had to land on the ball. Not being his most expansive series, but when he's been called on in defense, he's done all right there. 
Just ties him backwards. Still gets that save in the 2v1. Rodos in one into challenge as Tyson goes for one bump. Doesn't get it though. The backline not looking confident at all. Archie clearing it leftward. But Rodos is immediately there. Shies Archie away over the top. As these rise then go onto the backboard, making them use their booster vitality, wanting to burn away as many as they can before they go for that devastating final shot. This is danger. Here's Alan Drew. And what a save now again from Joyers. Huge block from the Dutchman. 21. Now Archie against Rodosum would love his fourth. Not quite this time. That one's finding its way into the top corner. Jorries has come alive. Oxygen have stayed alive. Jorries is back. I'm so happy that he's looked so much more confident in this game. The fourth goal in favor of Oxygen. That is Jorries' first after Archie's hat trick. That's what you want to see when these two play against each other. Vitality are taking their time out because that is the oxygen they expected to run into as they came into this semi. The good news for Vitality, even though they've had the lead twice, lost it there, and then had a three to of about 30 seconds left and mm. lost it again, and then lost the overtime. The good news is that the game seven's against Rise, and he's mm -hmm. like pretty rubbish in those situations, right? Famously not good at uh, deciding games. Oh, it suddenly got cold in here because he's so icy. He's so <laughs> icy. You know he's icy, you silly young man. It's, it's, it feels like fate. It's vitality in a game seven. They love a game seven, they do. Rise, my gosh, he loves a game seven. And Archie and Jorias, they have got a huge amount of composure in these big moments. This is going to be a gigantic test, mainly, I think, for the two newbies on vitality. Yes. They aren't. They aren't used to, I think, these incredibly high-pressure situations this far along in a tournament. They haven't really got here before. They've not got to a grand finals in an RLCS, either of them. Mm -hmm. It's where it comes down to Ferra in their call at the moment to say, boys, we continue playing as we have been. Yeah, Oxygen has stepped up. Yeah, sure, whatever. But we get those counterattacks. We go for those stops and we will try and force them back into their own half by shooting towards that net and making them not confident in our position. This is just uh, such a difficult situation for, as you say, Stumpy, the, the two new boys for Team Vitality. I mean, Team Vitality, this is the team that the first time that Rodosa and Sison joined them, they didn't even qualify for that mm -hmm. regional. It, it seemed like the project was just going to disappear. They've worked mm -hmm. so hard to bring themselves here, and now they're on the cusp, as you mentioned, of their first Grand Finals. But Oxygen, there's newness there as well. You know, yeah. they had a decent run with Oli. They've replaced him with Rise, and this is why they've replaced him with Rise. Situations just like this mm -hmm. one. So Oxygen will be thinking, we have to win this one. Weirdly, I think there's more pressure on Oxygen. I don't know. I, I really don't know because Rise will also have the pressure himself because everyone, we're, we're talking about it. Everyone's looking at this thinking, mm -hmm. Game 7, yeah. Rise. He yeah. is unbelievably icy. But what if he's not feeling it and he gets onto that map and he thinks, ooh, oh, okay, I'm not quite in it straight away. Ooh. Does he then get into his own head or does the ice take over? This is where we're going to be finding out who goes to face off against Carmine Corp in the Grand Finals. Will it be Vitality and you or will it be Oxygen? The Ice of Rise versus the potential Fatality of Vitality. Five minutes separate both these teams from a grand finals against Carmine Corp. And the way they're both playing, I bet they'd really fancy that one today. Who starts it better? Traditionally in this series, it's been Vitality that started games the better, taking so many leads. So Oxygen step one is not to concede early, and then oh just word. about succeeded oh there. Word. And the Iceman, he do come on. What? Uh, how do you read that? That was a pinch going right below the crossbar. It's above your head. That is famously one of the hardest positions to save from. And Rise goes, yeah, well, yeah, we go next here. That has just chipped off a tiny little bit of the icicles forming around his face. Madness. We remain at nil-nil. Vitality have lost their free early goal. It's a great bump from Redosin. They now realize they're going to have to work for every single thing they get. You always do on Champions Field. Sizing up against Jorius. He's missed it, actually. It falls for another Oxygen player sneaking in. Jorius oh. wants to get it over the top. And this time it's Alpha with the big save. Archie challenged mid-air by Sizen, who have been so aggressive. Alongside, I don't want to say reducing, but alongside the other two on Vitality, their aggression has been almost matching Oxygen at times. They have been trying to push them as far back into their half as they can to make them not confident. Rise and oh. Jorius, though, committing on that ball. You don't want to be seeing those double commits come in, especially oh. at Vol like this. That one shot wide, unfortunately, by Sizen. And we're seeing a couple of cracks starting to form, but who can fill them in and become the victor? 
They move on on two extra mistakes from Champions Field just because of that extra pressure. Makes it all the more exciting. Rodosin's chasing this one. We'll get 100 boost and does manage to catch up with the ball as well. Alpha is desperate for the ball. But it's just the challenge at the top of the uh, aerials arc by Rodosin there. Vitality keep it alive. Oxygen almost make the most of a little bump between two Vitality players. It's Thyazino has it here. Archie to the left. Vitality doing well, Stumpy, just to get that ball mm -hmm. on blue territory and keep it there for a bit. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like Vitality making sure that... I mean, literally going with the offense is the best defense argument there. They're not wanting to give that space to Oxygen, considering what they can do. Alpha shooting towards the net, but it was relatively safe as Jorius waits there. Just sees that ball coming towards him, can save it away. Into the skies is Alpha again from the ceiling, but he jumps off oh. this time, so has to go to the ground. Goes to the bump instead, actually. That gives Rodosin space to shoot, but it also gives Archie a lot of space to save. Sizing up against Archie. Alpha gets it back to Sizing. Is there one more pass? Not quite. It's a snapshot. <laughs> Ryze jumped for it. He might have had it covered, but it was going to be tough at that near post. But now it's Archie over no! the top of two of them. The extra touch is all he needs, and it's 1 0 Oxygen. Archie scoring four goals in two games. The end oh. of the series has been his. He tips it far along, boosts to catch up to it. Alpha not able to make that touch. And the orange half lighting up green with the check mark of Oxygen. Just past the halfway mark as well on Champions Field. An important goal, Jorius wants to get a second one. But he finds Alpha right in his way. Redosin and size and all Vitality players are involved confident. in this attack. Are we going to get That's the instant equalizer? Yes, we are. That's so confident. They're looking for Alpha well. and Sizen. Sizen continues, gets out that play. Redosin then catches it in the air, double taps it. Opposite corner to where Jory has ever wanted that ball to go. We are back at level pegging. We are learning so much about these teams in this early stage of the split as well. Their comeback ability. The kickoffs of Vitality have been good. There's another decent one. Rise isn't able to get past Sizen. But Archie just booms it long. Maybe we'll settle for a little bit into some boomer ball. As maybe these players, something needs to calm down for a second. Not of Jorius with the ball. Archie's coming in. It's oh, almost 2 1. Shot. Save for now, and Sizen can clear. Another shot for Archie, continuing, by the way, his 93% goal participation in this series. Mad. 14 out of 15 Oxygen goals have either been scored by him or assisted by him. He's got seven goals, seven assists. That is grotesque. Oh, so is that from Jorius? Saved by Sizen, who saw it coming. I'm glad he did, because I didn't. Here's Sizen again, just getting rid of that ball as much as he can. This time it's Oxygen, who have complete control of the play. Time ticking down, not much of it left. Next goal could very well be the winner. Archie's trying to make it his own. He gets his three millionth goal of the series. It's coming in from Rise, though, sneaking it in. Stay by Rodosin. We approach this final minute. Dead Jump. level. Oh. Alpha just shooting wide of that target. Couldn't quite catch yeah. up to it as Rodosin's pass was a little bit too far. Size and picking up that back boost. Leaves the ball for Alpha, who's going to be continuing it around the back of Rise. Rise with zero has to get something if this offense wants to continue. But Rodosin tapping it towards Jorius. Archie being that gnat flying around the side of the oxygen, or sorry, rather, of the vitality net, making sure that they do not feel happy, just waiting back to save away these devastating shots from the other boys in green. That's the bounce that I don't think Vitality wanted, but Rodosin was grateful just to see it fall onto his car so he could get rid at least for now. Sizen is in so quick again. Mm -hmm. Rapidity is what's been huge for Vitality. Alpha's beaten. Sizen is already there, though, but he's got no boost. He can only send it high, and Archie's got a clean hit. He takes to the ceiling. This is so awkward oh, for Rodosin. Oh, what shut a read! Up, oh, shut up, Rodosin! Oh, shut up! Why were you up so early, and why was it so good? Stumpy's disgusted. Vitality at Happy Rise is bundling the ball almost home. It's going to be ending with attacks from Oxygen, it seems. Rise catches it. Just waiting, seeing what Alpha's going to do. Overtime beckons, but it's not here yet. Sizen sends it long. Unless Archie makes a huge error, we are going to head into Game 7 Overtime. The start of this series did not feel like a Game 7 Overtime kind of thriller. It was 3-1 to Vitality. They were running away with it. And yet, by Oxygen have come back an unbelievable degree. Becoming that team, we've seen them battle through and win a regional before as. Now Jory is towards that blue net. Archie oh. trying to tap it down. That angle felt like it was coming. Yeah, it's definitely a chance the way Archie's playing as well. Rise gets the one, that one a little bit too much on the pinch. And Sizen can come forward. No boost, but that hasn't stopped Vitality before with these dribbles. Now Rodosin is charged down by Jorius. Alpha into the center. Wants oh. to hit this one himself. Gets the floor flip reset. Archie gets in his teammate's way. This is dangerous for Oxygen. The Vitality are heading back. 
Archer though dribbling. Gets hit around one actually, but with Alpha on that back line with more boost than him, it will be going in favor of Vitality. Rodosin follows up, but Jory has to cut it out. Nice and short. Steinsman passing towards Rodosin. Oh. He's it open. Oh. Archie Steinsman's oh. right, but Rodosin misses. Whoa. He can't be dropped in by Steinsman. Alpha to shoot to save the lives of Vitality. They are victorious. Who else but Alpha? What a series. What a tournament. The Frenchman has had trapped in the reserves of the RLCS for so long. He finally has his teammates and Team Vitality have their first <laughs> grand finals since November of 2021. Those reactions from Vitality say it all. They knew they had this series in the palm of their hand. They knew it went to game seven overtime and Rodosin absolutely skies it at the death. And then finally, Alva taps it bottom right and they literally fall off their chairs together. Like just, just, just so much elation, so much joy. Congratulations to Vitality and mostly to Rodosin and Sizen, to be completely honest, for getting into that first grand finals in the RLCS of their careers. Alpha, this is a big time. His chance to just be like, yeah, this is a decision. This is vitality. This is who we are nowadays. Be scared of us. Look at them as well, slumped in their chair. And that is an exhausting series. And they still have a grand finals to go to mm -hmm. as well, Stumpy. <laughs> yep. That's not it, everyone. <laughs> that was the second semi-finals. It might have felt like the first, considering that the first one ended up being 4-0 to Carmine Corp, getting them to those grand finals. But Vitality are going to be joining them. We'll see you phenomenally soon.